Hello everyone, it is SwimPlays here, back again with another video. So, um, how are you guys doing? Are we doing good? Um, if you just came from the recent uh, video on overhead GUIs, welcome. Um, before we start this video, feel free to subscribe, it's in the description, and just feel free to click that button, turn on post notifications, it means a lot, you guys, and when I post a video or post a live stream, you'll be notified. Uh, feel free to join the Discord too, because we are actually close to hitting 300 uh, members, and that's actually pretty dope, you guys. Never thought we'd hit it there. Um, and join the group in the description, the Roblox group. When we hit more members on there, we're actually probably going to do some giveaways and stuff like that. But, um, you know what I'm trying to say. So, um, you guys are probably wondering, what are we up to today? Um, we're going to be working on the badges for the Vibe game. And, like, how to make a badge, owner badge, um, play badge, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, yeah, so let's look at... This. So how you're going to do this is you're going to go to description, look for the models part, and you're going to grab this and hit claim. Once you hit claim, you'll have it. Now, what you're going to do is you are going to go in your toolbox, go to inventory, and grab this. Once you grab it, it's going to open up a folder, and it's just a tiny thing, so this video is not going to be too big. But this is going to be uh, grouped, and how you're going to do this is you're going to grab it. So we're going to go here, starter player, right here, and character scripts. So then you're going to do that and ungroup. And then you're going to go server script service right here and ungroup. It's super simple, you guys. Um, I'm actually going to show you how to make a badge too. So it'd be pretty easy. Um, but yeah, so let's look at this. Uh, we're going to look at auto chats real quick because that's super simple. Um, these are starter character scripts. So when they load in right away, they're going to get the script. So uh, right here we have the auto chats. And this is basically so when a person joined the game, it's going to put in a text in the text box that says, these certain texts right here. So like and favorite, want to make your own vibe game, watch some tutorials. If there are any bugs, make sure to comment and message in the Dizzy. So if you want to make any more of these, we're going to show you how these work though. So you can change these texts right here by doing anything. So you can say, uh, feel free to check the links in my description, something like that. And this is the font. You can change this to anything you want. Now, if you need a font list, uh, I'd probably just search up on Roblox or just insert a text box and look at all the fonts. Uh, this is the color of the text, how it's going to come out of, so you can change that. Uh, this is the text size. I wouldn't recommend changing it since it doesn't need to be too big. Um, then the same thing over here, same color, different colors. Now, this is a while wait script, uh, while, like a Trudeau script, so it's going to be looping it. So every 500 seconds, um, and all you got to do is look at 500 seconds divided by one minute or something. So eight eight minutes, every eight minutes, these are gonna pop up. So if you wanna make your own, another one, you're gonna go like this and you can change the seconds to whatever you want to. Um, let's say we wanna change this to 400, 300. Uh, you can change that, make it data four. Now data four isn't described, so you're gonna go right here, grab that, paste, data four, and you're done. And then you can just change this to anything you want. That's it. Super simple. So, um, yeah, that's the auto chat. It's pretty simple. Um, yeah, that's that. Now let's get over to the main stuff. This is the badges. Now the badges are a little, little different. Um, they're a little bit like, I guess you could say harder to do. Sorry guys, I need to focus this up. Focus up. Okay, it's a little bit better now. So we're going to look at this. It's in the server script service. Now we have two badges, owner badge and player badge and minute badge. Now um, we're going to look at owner badge since it's pretty simple. Um, but yeah. So all you got to do is change literally two things. And that's it. Super simple. So um, if you guys are wondering how do you make a badge, I actually was about to explain that too. So we're going to do that in a second. But um, you're going to grab the ID of a badge. And I'm going to show you how these badges work. How you can make them. And uh, everything like that. But, so badges are like these. So once you make the badge. It's going to say this. And you're going to grab that 9 number right there. And you're going to put that right here. And then you're going to go to owner ID. So you're going to go to your profile. And you're going to grab that. That's the owner ID. And you're going to put that right there. That's all you got to do. That's it. Super simple. Um, but, um, yeah, that's uh, that's that for the owner badge. Super simple. Um, and we're going to show you how to make these badges, get the IDs too in a second here. But let's look at the other one real quick. So 
All you gotta do for the other one is the badge ID for the thousand minutes and the played badge. Now, like I said, it's the same thing. So go to your badges once we make them in a second here. Look at them. So 1,000 minutes, played Vibe House, and grab the nine number. Now, so how you know which one's which, um, once you put the play badge in here, so you can see the name. So that is the played badge. So we're going to grab uh, this ID. Um, you're going to put that one right there, and then you're going to get the 1,000 minute badge and put that right there. Now, if you want to create more minutes, which we're going to do later on, uh, you can go badge ID 2, change that. And then we're going to make another one real quick in a second. But so what it's doing is if they just played and they don't have the badge, so on connect, um, it's going to award them the play badge. So that's super simple right here. You don't need to touch that. Now, this is a thousand minute badge. So if you do want it, feel free to get it. Um, feel free to have that, get that. Um, but um, yeah, I don't know if we do have to make another one of these. I think we're okay. Well, normally you could probably just do this, but you can also change this, by the way. This is where you change the 5,000, 1,000 minutes, your value of the leader stat. If it's not minutes, it's points. So you can change that, all that jazz. Um, but I think if we do, normally you can just go like this, and then we'll go, oops. Oh, well, normally you can go else if, and then player.leaderstats.minutes.value is greater than 5,000. Then, but you should do it in the opposite order, by the way. P call, and then you're gonna do that. And we could test this later, but and then you're gonna go badge ID two, like that. So it's kind of simple. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then we're gonna like you could say five thousand badge. It's just printing to let you know. So that's the badges, guys. It's super simple. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go on and make the badges and show you how you can import them and make them. They do cost Robux. I don't know if I even said that at the beginning of the video, but they cost Robux. So <laughs> that's something to be aware of. But let's quickly go and look at this. So all you're going to do is you're going to go to the create page and go to badges. And you're going to go down here and select any of the games that you have. So go in there. Grab one of the games, and I choose Vibe House. You're going to use the file, and we're going to show you how to make them real quick. And then you're going to go badge name right here. Name the badge, description, preview. And so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it shows you how many people won in the level of jazz. So that's super simple. You can change the badge name to whatever you want. Now, making them are a little harder. Um, I think I have them already, but we're going to show you. So we're going to go to pixlr.com. Now, Pixlr is actually a great editor instead of Photoshop if you don't want to. Um, and I looks, yeah, see, as you can see, I already have some over here. So we're going to go straight to those. But simply, how you can do this, see how it says you played? Super simple, guys. So we're actually, I'm going to change it too. But it's super simple. All you got to do, so let's look at the size. Okay, so I have 420 by 420. So, oh, wait, that's not the, yeah, that is 420 by 420. I think it's 520. So you're going to go here, you can go. Roblox badge size, like that. Oh, 150 by 150. So that's that. You can just make a badge that's 150 by 150. Um, but it already normally auto sizes it for you. But so let's say here, we're gonna say, uh, we're gonna do 5,000 minutes, minutes, like that. So, um, but how you gonna do it is you can do the badge size. Now you can go Roblox badge transparent. So let's go like that. Um, or Roblox Game Pass, something like that. Let's see here. Yeah, so like one of these, and look at the circle so you know what you're doing, and then just fill it up in jazz and stuff like that. You can also just make a circle, you guys, in one of these. The editor's a little weird. Um, if you want to insert text, you grab this button right here and put it and just paste it and make one of those, and then change the styles by like clicking on it right here, doing that jazz. And it's super simple to save. I didn't really even show you guys, to be honest, how to do it. So we're going to go 5,000 minutes. I'm actually going to be making 10,000 and 5,000 and all that jazz. So I thought, you know, might as well do it. But, and then we're going to go here. We're going to go 10,000 minutes. And we're going to go down here and click. Well, like that. And then we're going to go save. And we're going to go 10,000 minutes. And we're save that. So it's pretty much saved. And then, like I said, you guys, you just go to here, create your thing. And we're actually going to do it now. So 
um, downloads, and we're gonna go 5,000 minutes. So you reached 5,000 minutes like that, and then oh, congrats! And then you can do that, and you're gonna purchase it. So yes, I'm gonna purchase it because I'm a poor man. Well, I'm gonna be poor. I'm already spending all my money. <laughs> and we're gonna go 10,000 minutes. So you reached 10,000 minutes like that. And you go, congrats. Super simple. Now it's not gonna load in, so you're gonna have to wait a while. And once you do that, like I said, you go here, grab the ID, and you're good. That's it. That's all you guys gotta do. Um, I'm sorry I didn't really show you how to make it. Uh, it's not too many, too good of an idea of how to do it. But you kind of get it with my opinion. I wish I could save, like, let's see, can I export? Quick export. Nah. Oh, export template. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's working. Okay. That's weird. I want to save it for you guys so I can show you. You can make your own. But um, you can also just go copy badges, do whatever you want to do. It's super simple. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I got for you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. Um, I'm starting to advertise my channel just because I thought might as well get more subscribers while we're at it. And, you know, we're doing great, guys. 2000, 3000, 2000 is crazy. And I can't wait to hit, to hit 3000. It's just amazing, guys. Amazing. But um, that's all for I got you guys today. Feel free to watch the other tutorials if you're confused in some stuff. And yeah, like I said, we have a lot more coming. Gear Shop, uh, Gear GUI, all that jazz is coming later. And the Cash UI. So don't be afraid. It's coming. And um, yeah, you guys, I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? <laughs> Bye.